In this video, I'm going to show you my five top picks for recession-proof stocks that I chose to maintain or even grow my portfolio in these uncertain times. Hey there, my name's Josh, and I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. This is all my opinion. Times are tough right now, and a lot of people are worried about their portfolios and their future. That's why in this video, I'm going to share with you my five top picks for the recession-proof stocks that I believe will help my portfolio weather the storm. The best way to predict the future is to use a crystal ball, but I lost my crystal ball. So I had to go with the next best thing, and that's use the past to look at the future. So I did just that. I took a look at the stocks that performed the best during the 08 recession. According to Investopedia.com, the top 10 stocks in the S&P 500 were the Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Old Dominion Freight Lines, just to name a few. And I noticed a lot were discount stores, healthcare, and essential services such as trucking. This led me to believe that these types of industries were more than likely going to do well in the next recession, so that's why I chose them. Kroger Stock Kroger is a discount store that offers essential services such as groceries, which makes it a top pick for a recession-proof stock. During the last recession, Walmart, which is also a discount store, was one of the top performing stocks. Kroger is also in the healthcare industry, which is another good reason for Kroger to be a top performing stock during a recession. Healthcare is a necessity, and people still are going to need it through tough times and economic downturns. So I purchased Kroger stock a few years ago, and it's been one of my top performing stocks in my portfolio. Kroger is one of the oldest and largest super chains in the United States. Founded in 1883, the company has a history of stable growth and profitability. Kroger stock is a good investment for the long-term investor who is looking for stability and dividends. The current dividend is 1.61. I know this isn't huge, but it's better than most stocks. The company has a strong focus on consumer services and operates a large network of stores across the country. Kroger is also strong on the online side and it's one of the largest retailers in the world. The company's stock is traded on the New York Stock Exchange and is a good component of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This stock has had a 73% return in the past five years. Kroger is currently trading at $52 per share. Lowe's Stock Lowe's is in the home improvement retail industry that offers essential services such as home repairs and renovations, which makes it a good pick for a recession-proof stock. When it comes to people trying to cut back on their spending, look no further than the DIYer. If you follow me on my other channel, The Excellent Laborer, you know that I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars building my own houses. Although most people will not go to Lowe's to build a whole house, most will go to buy a lot of things to DIY around the house to avoid paying contractors. During the last recession, Home Depot, which is also a home improvement retailer, was one of the top performing stocks. Lowe's is also in the essential services industry, which is another good industry to be in during a recession. Lowe's stock has been on the rise in the past couple years after its decade-long lows in 2011. This home improvement retailer has been clawing its way back as analysts are bullish on the company's prospects, citing a strong e-commerce platform and strategic expansion plans. Given these positive indicators, it's no surprise that investors like Lowe's stock. Lowe's dividend yield is 2.18 and over the past five years, this stock has returned a whopping 140% as one of the leading home improvement stores. Lowe's is poised to continue growth years ahead, so if you're looking for a promising investment, Lowe's stock is worth considering. The price tag is $193 per share currently. Johnson & Johnson stock. Johnson & Johnson, which is known as J&J, &J, is a healthcare company that offers essential services which makes it a fine pick for recession-proof stock. Healthcare is a necessity and people are still going to need it during tough times and economic downturns. We all know that J&J &J was one of the leading creators of the vaccine, which also gives it a unique edge compared to other healthcare companies. J&J &J is a publicly traded company which operates in many industries, including pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and consumer products. The company was founded in 1886, and its headquarters are in New Brunswick, New Jersey. As of 2019, J&J &J was the largest healthcare company. 
the company's stock is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol JNJ. JNJ stock has been a consistently good investment over many years. The company has a long history of increasing its dividends and the stock has outperformed the market in periods of economic growth and in recessions. J&J has a dividend yield of 2.28 in the past five years. It's grown 35%. J&J is a large and diversified company that's well positioned to continue growing in the future. As a result, its stock is an attractive option for investors seeking both stability and potential growth. The current stock price is $175 a share. Coca-Cola stock. There is a reason why Buffett's favorite stock is Coca-Cola, and it's not because of Elon Musk's latest tweet. Warren Buffett is a highly successful investor who knows a thing or two about picking a good stock. Coca-Cola is a great pick for a recession-proof stock because it's a staple in the American diet. Coca-Cola is one of the most popular drinks in America, and it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So no matter what the economy does, it'll be around. In fact, during tough times, many people turn to comfort foods and drinks, which is good news for Coca-Cola. This company has been around for a whopping 130 years and it's one of the most recognizable brands in the world and it has a large following. The company has paid dividends to shareholders ever since 1920. In recent years, Coca-Cola has increased its dividend payout and Coca-Cola's current dividend is 2.79 and in the past five years, its stock has grown 38%. And sure, Coca-Cola isn't gonna skyrocket like cryptocurrency, but if you're looking for nice, stable, steady gains, I recommend Coca-Cola and its current stock price is 63 a share. Walmart stock. This is my top pick for a recession-proof stock. Walmart is a discount store that offers essential services such as groceries, which makes it a great pick. During the last recession, Walmart, which is also a discount store, was one of the top performing stocks. Walmart also in the essential services industry, which is another good industry to be in during the recession. There's no denying that Walmart is a juggernaut of a company. It seems like they're invincible. Every time the economy takes a turn for the worst, their stock price climbs. They're one of the few companies that have managed to weather the storm and come out on top. So if you're looking for a recession-proof stock, this is the one I would pick. Walmart is definitely worth considering. Founded in 1962 by Sam Walton, Walmart is an American multinational retail corporation that operates a chain of hypermarkets, discount department stores, and grocery stores. Headquartered in Bentonville, Arkansas, the company's stock trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker WMT. As of October 31st, 2020, Walmart has 11,000 stores and clubs in 27 countries around the world. The company also has e-commerce websites in various countries across the globe. Supported by its efficiency and logistics network, Walmart offers customers low prices on a wide range of products. In 2019, the company generated $514.4 billion in revenue and $11.5 billion in net income. It employs 2.2 million associates globally and serves over 265 million customers each week. Walmart is committed to creating opportunities and bringing value to customers and communities around the world. Investing in Walmart stock at any time is a smart move in my opinion. It's only going to get stronger with time, I think. Not only is the company one of the largest retailers in the world, but it also has a strong history of growth. In recent years, Walmart has been expanding its online presence and is now one of the largest e-commerce companies in the U.S. The company is also investing heavily in technology, which should help boost its sales and profits in the future. Given all these factors, Walmart stock is a good choice for the investor looking for long-term growth. The current annual dividend yield of Walmart is 1.78. This stock has grown 58% in the past five years. Three characteristics of recession-proof stocks. As you already know, the stocks mentioned above were my top picks for the possible upcoming recession. This clearly does not mean that I will not lose money by buying these, but over the past 20 years, there has been a number of stock market crashes that have wiped out billions of dollars in value. And as a result, many investors are looking for stocks that are recession-proof, meaning they will hold their value or even increase their value during economic downturns. 
There are a number of characteristics that make a stock recession proof. First, the stock should be tied to an essential good or service. For example, stocks in the healthcare or food companies are typically less volatile than other stocks because people still need them for their goods and services even when the economy is weak. Secondly, the stock should have a history of good dividend payments. Dividend stocks tend to be more stable because they offer investors regular income streams even when stock prices are falling. Finally, the stock should be listed on major stock exchanges and have a strong analyst coverage. These stocks tend to be more resilient because they are less likely to be impacted by the changes in the overall market. By investing in these stocks with these characteristics, you can help protect your portfolio from losses during a recession. My final thoughts. We're in the midst of economic uncertainty, but that doesn't mean a recession is on the horizon per se. I know it seems like on every news outlet there's negative economic news like it's the only headline to talk about, but there's definitely no shortage of negativity out there. If you are investing for the long term and in the short term market drops, it should just be an ideal time to just buy and hold. That is, only if you have the spare cash that you're willing to risk. Well, if you're invested in the stock market and you don't want to add to your positions, you may want to start thinking about the simplest way to protect your assets. A recession can cause the stock market to crash, and if you're not prepared, you can lose a lot of money if you're not long-term focused and you panic sell. So, how can you prepare for a recession? One way is to diversify your investments. This means investing in different types of assets such as bonds and real estate. And that way if the stock market crashes, you'll still have the other investments to fall back on. I know real estate prices seem sky high right now, but they can offer more stability if the stock market makes you nervous. Watching your stock portfolio balance fluctuate like ocean waves may not be ideal for you. Another way to prepare for a recession is to have cash on hand. So that way you can buy things at a discount and sell them in the future for a higher price. And also you don't have to see your account balance drop because you'll have simple cash. Of course, no one knows exactly when a recession will hit, but by preparing now, you'll be better positioned to weather the storm, and when it does come, you'll be prepared. And if you enjoy financial content like this, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.